Joaquin here with Home Assistant 2026.1. Happy New Year, and we just got our first update of Home Assistant for 2026. Now, I was running 2025.12.5, and it was rock solid. But 2026.1 just dropped with some massive changes, so let's check it out and see if it's safe to hit that update button. First of all, there's a new style of automation editor. It's a new clean look. Now you can use more natural state changes like when a light turns on. And by the way, all my automations were still working when I upgraded my home assistant. There's a new dedicated protocol dashboard under settings. There's some new built-in integrations, including one for HomeLink. I'm gonna check that one out and see if I can add an integration for the Rivian's HomeLink button. As far as integrations in general, all of mine are still working. So if you have any of these running, that I have Bird Buddy, Broadlink, ChargePoint, DLNA, Ember Mug, Emulated Hue, ESP Home, GE Home, HomeKit Bridge, Honeywell, LinkedIn Link, Morose, Mocad, MQTT, Yamaha Multicast, Ranchio, Ring, Shelly, Tesla. They're all still working. Now the sidebar navigation has been cleaned up. It's easier to navigate. And my Rivian and Tesla integrations are still working just fine. Now here's my favorite update. They moved the date picker in the energy dashboard down to the bottom so it's easier to select. They added API action responses to ESP Home. So now it's a true two-way protocol and you can create responses with it. So there you go, Home Assistant 2026.1. I didn't have any problem with the upgrade, so I think you're okay to do Message it. me in the comments if you had any problems with 2026.1 or any integrations. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos about home automation, Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi, and other tech products. <laughs>